Often confused with the Aswang or the Wakwak from Filipino mythology, the Mananangwal is one of these nightmarish creatures that bring dread and malice wherever they go. Today, we will explore the origins of this enigmatic mythical creature, as well as the legends surrounding it, and its place in the Philippines' folklore. The Mananangal can be viewed as a Filipino counterpart of the Western Vampire in a way, because they share many similarities, being both blood-sucking creatures that often prey on weaker human beings to satisfy their own worldly hunger. The etymology of its name, Mananangal, is said to be coming from the Tagalog word Tangal, which can be translated to separate in English. The reason why it was named so was because the creature has a very unique ability which gives it the means to separate its upper body from its lower body, and thus enable it to fly away and look for a prey from the air. The origins of this creature can be traced way back to the pre-Spanish occupation in the Philippines, and there are several accounts on its origins. One theory suggests that the Mananangal was a result of a pitch-black baby bird living inside the affected humans that would eventually turn into the creature. It was said that the bird was eating the Mananangal from the inside out, which caused the creature to be in a constant state of hunger, which made it prey on humans in return. Others said that it was possible for a human to turn into a Mananangal by drinking the blood of one of the creatures. Usually, Mananangals are described as female repulsive and nightmarish creatures, a hideous figure that barely resembles anything human. However, just like the Aswang, they have the ability to transform into a normal human being during the day, and usually, they take the form of a beautiful young woman to make it easier to attract young men. It's only at night that they take on their true form. This is how the creature proceeds when the sun comes down. First, it will find an isolated and safe place, such as a bamboo grove, where it can separate its lower body from its upper body. They do so to make sure that no one can find their lower body while they're out hunting. Then, it grows a huge pair of wings, long and sharp fangs, and the upper body flies away to hunt some vulnerable humans. They also develop a long and powerful tongue that is very flexible. They usually use it to pierce human skin to drink their blood. The Mananangal usually rests on the roof of its victim's house before striking. It follows the innocent prey and sometimes waits until they're asleep to go inside and use their long and flexible tongue to suck the blood of the sleeping prey. Most stories about the creature say that it often preys on pregnant women because it enjoys piercing their bellies to eat the fetus inside. Fortunately, the Mananangals also have several weaknesses. For example, it is said that they are extremely vulnerable when they were separated from their lower body. That's due to the fact that once the Mananangal flies away and leaves its lower body somewhere, it simply cannot move it anymore until it reattaches itself. Therefore, it is said that there were a few things that can be done to the lower body such as pouring salt on it, garlic or holy water, to make sure that the Mananangal couldn't reattach itself anymore. The creatures would eventually die if it was caught separated when the sun rise again. There were also a few methods you could use to repel the creature and thus avoiding its presence altogether. You could for example put a few small pots filled with salt or ashes all around the house, or you could keep vinegar, holy water or spices with you at all times. For some reason, the creatures were disgusted by those ingredients. Today, the Mananangal remains as one of the most known mythical creatures from Filipino folklore, and is even represented in a few emblematic horror movies from the Philippines, such as the classic Shake, Rattle and Roll. So this concludes today's video. Thank you everyone for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it. If that's the case, I invite you to share the video and subscribe to the channel for even more content like this. Now then, thanks again to all of you, and I'll see you all very soon for a new video.